Amazon is one of the most recognizable brands and e-commerce retailers in the world. Renowned for their customer centricity, understanding the customer journey is key to success on Amazon. However, to reap the most reward, you need to determine how conducive your brand is for a positive consumer experience. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at Silverapp and today I'll take a closer look at Amazon customer journey mapping. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. The Amazon customer journey is all about how people shop on Amazon. It's like a roadmap that shows the steps someone takes from discovering a product to buying it and even what happens after. It's not just about buying products, it's also about all the different ways people interact with Amazon and how it affects what they think about the company and also other brands. An Amazon customer journey map is like a picture showing how a customer experiences everything with the brand and its products. It's a simple step-by-step -step guide of what happens from when they first hear about the products to after they buy them. This map points out all the different times and ways uh, customers connect emotionally what they do and how they decide things. When you draw out each step of this journey, you can learn how customers connect with your brand. The idea is to make your journey smoother, more personal and happier. This leads to them liking your brand more, saying good things about it and coming back to buy more. So the customer journey map helps you improve plans, make things better and make sure everyone's working together to meet what customers want. Now, why should you care about mapping uh, the Amazon customer journey? Well, it's pretty important for a few reasons. First is understanding what customers want. Mapping out how customers go through your products help you really get uh, what they need and like. So this understanding is key for making sure your products and services match up with what customers want. Second is spotting problems. When you draw out the whole journey, you can see where things might get tricky or frustrating for customers. Finding these problems help you fix them, uh, making the whole experience better. Optimizing uh, the buyer experience, mapping out the journey shows you all the times customers interact with your products like on Amazon's website or when they talk to the customer service. Knowing this helps you make those uh, interactions smoother, which makes customers happier and more likely to stick around your brand. And happy customers tend to spend more over time. Next is personalizing products. Seeing this journey helps you figure out what kinds of products customers are into. With tools like Amazon Brand Analytics and Ad Reports, you can use this information to show the customers' ads um, you know, of things they actually like, which can boost your sales. Full Funnel Improvement When you map out how customers go from discovering your brand to buying stuff, uh, you can figure out the best ways to talk to them at each step. This could mean sending emails from your website, 
are popping up notifications on their phones, chatting with them on social media, or even running ads on Amazon. It's about making sure they know what's up with uh, when they need to, right? Making customers stick around. A good customer journey makes people like your brand even more. Happy customers tend to come back for more and tell their friends good things about you. This builds up your brand's rep and brings in more cash. Finding new ideas, seeing how customers move through the journey can give you even better ideas for new products to try. Maybe you spot things they want that nobody's giving them or spots where other brands aren't doing so great. This is your chance to step up and offer something special. Keep getting better. Uh, the customer journey isn't set in stone. Uh, it changes as people's habits and uh, technical uh, changes happen. So it's smart to keep looking at your map and tweaking things to keep up. In the end, mapping out the Amazon customer journey helps you make things smoother and nicer for your customers. And when customers are happy, your business gets even better with more folks sticking around and spending more money. The customer journey has five main parts, each bringing its own benefits. So these stages help, uh, you know, businesses follow how our customers go from first hearing about them to really liking what they offer. So let's break it down. The first stage is awareness. This is where all it begins. Um, people start to notice a brand, product or service. This could happen in lots of ways like seeing ads, hearing about it from friends or finding it online. The aim here is to catch their eye and making them curious about what the business does. Next is consideration. In this stage, customers are busy comparing different options. They are checking out products, reading reviews, and digging for more information. This is when the business needs to step in with helpful details, show what happens, uh, you know, what makes their uh, product special and clear up any questions or worries customers might have. The goal is to move them from thinking about options to really liking what the business offers. Next stage is purchase. This is where the customer makes up their mind to buy your product. They have done their homework or looked at other options and now they are ready to seal the deal. They might click to order online, head to a store or sign up for a service. Make sure this buying process is easy, safe and smooth uh, is key for good experience. Business might also throw in discounts or special deals to sweeten the deal. Next is retention, very important one. After a customer buys something, it's all about making sure they're happy with their purchase. This means uh, giving great support, uh, making sure the product or service is top notch and staying in touch. This builds a strong bond with customers, making them more likely to come back for more. Next is advocacy. Uh, once customers are really pleased with what they get, uh, they might start telling everyone about it. They could leave uh, glowing reviews, tell their friends or chat about it online. These recommendations are super powerful and can bring in lots of new customers. To keep this going, uh, businesses need to keep giving great experiences and maybe even throw in some extra perks for loyal customers. Knowing these five steps of the customer journey helps businesses figure out how to talk to customers and keep them happy every step of the way. By making the whole journey smooth and enjoyable, businesses can make customers happy and grow even more. Here's how to create a map that covers everything your customers do. Step one, 
define customer touch points, figure out all the places where customers connect with your brand. Now, this could be on your website, social media, through emails, ads, or even when they visit in person. These spots are the big moments in your customer journey. Step two, conduct market research. Uh, chat with your customers, do surveys and learn straight from them. Find out how they find your brand, what bugs them and where they like hanging out with your products. This information helps you fine tune your map. Step three, develop buyer personas. Create detailed buyer personas that represent your target audience. Understand their demographics, preferences, and even behaviors. You can answer questions like what's their age, um, what are their interests, how do they communicate, what are their challenges when it comes to the products. These questions will help you tailor the journey map or to the specific needs and expectations of different customer segments. Step four, set clear goals. Decide what you want to achieve at each stop along uh, the journey. Do you want more people to know about your brand, sell more stuff or keep customers coming back? Once you know, make a clear plan for how to do it. Let's say you want more folks to know about your brand. You could try things like running ads, uh, targeting similar products, uh, posting more on social media, or teaming up with an influencer in your field. Step five, analyze and refine. Now let's see how things are going. Take a good look at all the information you have collected Find any spots uh, where customers seem to have trouble, uh, places where things could go better or uh, chances to make the whole experience nicer. Listen to what your customer support team hears a lot about too. Use all this to tweak your journey map and make it even better. Step six, incorporate updates. Your business keeps growing and what customers like can change. So don't forget to keep updating your journey map. Take a peek at it every uh, so often and make changes as needed to keep it right on track with what your brand is all about. Following these steps will help you make a customer journey map that really shows what your customers go through. Keep things smooth and nice for them and watch your business grow along uh, with their business and loyalty. So mapping out the customer journey on Amazon isn't just about selling products. It's about building connections, knowing what customers want and going the extra mile. Now this map shows how Amazon makes shopping easy personal and full of new ideas. Need a hand with your own journey map and ads? Let Seller App lend a hand. We have worked with over 20,000 brands like yours, helping them plan and run ads that really work. Got questions? Reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com and our experts will ha be happy to help you out. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, Click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!